So here we're going to be working on an example number two. Um, we're going to be looking at, again, a change in position. So this is just the video explanation of what's in your book or what's in your, uh, your PDF. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We want to let x1 be equal to negative 6 and x2 be equal to negative 10. We want to find the change in position. from, and we're going to go both ways, we're going to go from x1 to x2, and we're going to go from x2 to x1. So here's x1. Now, I didn't wisely use all of my number line here because x1 falls to the right of x2, so i got to fit x2 in here, but that's okay. So here's x2 at negative 10. So let's go ahead and look at this first one. We want to change from x1 to x2, so that means we have to take x2 minus x1. So your, your pattern is you take your end minus your start. Just think about why that is. So end minus start. So we end at negative 10. We start at negative 6. So that gives us negative 10 plus 6, which is negative 4. So if we look up here at the number line, and we go from x1 to x2, it says that that's negative 4. So we're moving left 4 units. That's what negative 4 means. Now here we're going from x2 to x1, so we want to take x1 minus x2. Again, we're our end point minus our start point. So that is negative 6 minus a negative 10, which is negative 6 plus 10, which is positive 4. So that means from x2 to x1, we're moving to the right 4 units.